Awesome. Now let's get into Levinger's relationship model. Now Levinger described five stages to every relationship and this is not just limited to communities, it's for all kinds of relationships. So the five stages of relationships according to Levinger are number one, A, A for acquaintance, B for build up, C for continuation, D for deterioration and E for ending or termination. So these are the five stages of communities or any form of relationships. Uh, let's go over them. Obviously, we want to stay away from deterioration and termination. We want to stay somewhere around acquaintance, build up and continuation. So what are the different aspects within these stages? Now, the first one, like I mentioned, is acquaintance. So what happens in acquaintance? Here is somewhere where you start to build some form of, you know, you have that mutual interest. So you're here because you have that mutual interest. There's a lot of small talk. There's a lot of hi. How are you? My name is this. What about you? Etc. Uh, no actual, um, how do you say, substance or self-disclosure. Uh, there's no trust. There's no commitment. It's just small talk. It's just an acquaintance. You understand what an acquaintance is. Next, we go into build up, the build up phase. When build up, there's a lot more compatibility. And the key aspect to this is your self-disclosure. Bringing out some part of you that you probably won't share with some random people on the road. That is self-disclosure, where you're opening up. And self-disclosure is a very important part of moving across Levinger's relationship model. Next is trust and influence. You start to realize that you have a say in this relationship. You have a say in this community. So the process by which a person reveals their inner thoughts and emotions to another person, that is what self-disclosure is. This means people don't form relationships unless they're having meaningful discussions. So it's not just small talk. They need to be having meaningful discussions for them to open up. What's the third form? Okay, now let's move on to the third step and that is continuation. There's a lot more trust. There's a lot more influence. It's starting to scale. You have a lot more commitment, right? You've, sh you've shared a little bit about you and uh, your people are accepting you. The relationship is starting to reciprocate and there's a lot more meaningful conversation. Now, this is the ideal stage uh, where you want to be, you want your community to be. Uh, because the next one is deterioration. What happens when one person is taking a lot more from this relationship than the other person, right? When, when the brand is taking a lot more, say, from the customers or the customers are taking a lot more from the brand. If there is this imbalance between cost and reward, then the brand or the community starts to deteriorate. Uh, this also may lead to a lack of trust when you know, the, the customers feel like, hey, the brand is a monopoly and, you know, they're not, they're not actually caring about us. They don't really care about their customers or their community members. Uh, one common thing that you'll start to notice during this phase is that there's very uh, less and, you know, not enough communication. Communication is very key to relationships, what all kinds of relationships. So if the kind of messaging is very infrequent, if the community managers and community builders or the brand is not keeping the community members up to date on what's happening with the brand and business, it can lead to deterioration. And finally, when this happens, you know, you start to disclose less. Once you lose trust, once trust is broken, you no longer feel comfortable disclosing. And if that continues, if you do not revive during the deterioration phase, it leads to termination. And that's the end of the relationship. When the community and the community managers they no longer have any conversations and the relationship is broken off. So that's Levinger's model, uh, Levinger's model of relationships. Now, why is the Levinger's model so important? We already went through what the Levinger's model is. Now, good community managers understand why people join, why people stay and why people leave. They are able to detect where the community is in the Levinger's relationship model. So we discussed acquaintance. Now in acquaintance phase, when there's a lot of small talk, you might notice, hey, there's a lot of activity, but that does not necessarily translate to meaningful conversations. Uh, when say it's in the build up phase. Now here, you start to notice there's a lot of uh, meaningful conversation. This is a great place to be, especially if you're in a growing community, uh, but you still need to continue pushing and reach say the continuation phase. When now it's not just you as community managers or leaders that are you know, facilitating discussions and, you know, managing these conversations. But there are leaders that emerge within the community itself. So rather now, now this is the ideal place uh, where you notice that, okay, your community is very strong. 
So you want to keep your community in the con continuation phase and prevent it from deteriorating. So it may feel like a sinusoid, but you need to give it an inflection and continue to keep growing.